Hello and welcome back. This is Adam with Colorado Card Breaks. Today, I'm gonna to be showing off the top five cards from my personal collection. These cards don't all have a lot of monetary value, but all of them have some type of personal value to me, which I believe is very important when it comes to collecting sports cards. As you guys will see, my favorite card is probably not even the most expensive card in the top five. First, I'm going to start off, though, with a number of honorable mentions and kind of explain why some of these cards also have personal value to me. So first up is a 1990 Jerome Walton Donruss card that's been autographed. And this was my very first autograph. I sent this through the mail to him. Got back a nice letter, which I didn't keep. I wish I had. Um, but I've kept this card since I was probably about 13 years old. One of my favorite cards in my collection. Being a Detroit fan, another one of my favorite cards is this 1989 Topps Barry Sanders rookie card. It's hard being a Lions fan, but it's not hard to collect Barry Sanders. The next stack of cards all have something in common, which is they all played on the 1984 Detroit Tigers World Series championship team. Um, and I've been trying to collect all of their rookies. I haven't gotten very far, but you'll see, you'll see one of these in my top five also. So first up is a Dave Rosma top card from 1978. A couple of other 1978 cards include a Jack Morris rookie card. In the top left is Dave Bergman. He was the first baseman in DH for the 84 Tigers. 1983 tops Detroit Tigers future stars. The one in the middle, Marty Castillo, uh, was a third baseman and catcher for the Tigers in 84. This is a 1983 Donruss Howard Johnson rookie card. And then a 1981 Kirk Gibson rookie card. I love the Tigers, in case you guys didn't know. Uh, another card that I recently got, numbered out of 25, I believe this came from TLM is a Miguel Cabrera quad relic, which is so incredibly cool. It's got the nice chunky patch in the top left. It has the two bat relics and then the, the jersey relic down in the bottom right. I also received these next two cards from viewers. First up is a baseball's greatest hitters, Al Kaline. It uh, looks like it's from 1982, but there's not a whole lot of other information on the back as far as who made it. Then a 1974 Tops LK line. Love that card. And then the final card in the honorable mentions actually came from my cousin, Steven. He sent this to me because he knows that I love Trevor Bauer. But it's a 2012 Bowman Sterling Trevor Bauer autograph. I absolutely love that card. I believe this is right after his first year. I love that one. So moving on to the top five. At number five, we have a 2020 Clearly authentic Juan Soto autograph, numbered 75. Pulled this out of a box uh, recently, a couple of months ago. Quickly became one of my favorite cards. Love how that looks. Moving on to number four. We have a George Anderson 1959 Topps card. If any of you are wondering why this is in my top five, it's because George Anderson got the nickname Sparky and became the manager of the Reds 
and the Tigers, winning World Series with both of them, uh, including the 1984 Detroit Tigers, uh, which is why this card is near and dear to my heart. It's his rookie card. I think it's interesting that he played in both Montreal and L.A., but they were minor league teams at the time. So there's that. Moving on to number three, we have a 1978 Topps Lou Whitaker rookie card. Lou Whitaker is probably one of my all-time favorite players. And I've had this card since I was 14 or 15 years old. I remember getting it from my parents. Uh, I don't even know how much it was back then. Don't even know how much it is now, but this is definitely one of my all time favorite cards. Coming in at number three. Moving on. Moving on to number two. From 2019, clearly authentic. We have an LK line autograph out of 75. This was sold to me by one of my viewers, and I absolutely love this card. I told him when he sold it to me that you'd have to pry it out of my cold, dead fingers before somebody got it for me, and that's still true. This will probably always be in my collection. Moving on to number one. The top card in my personal collection came from a viewer, Joe Mansman. It is a 1959 Topps LK line card graded to a 3.5. It's absolutely beautiful. It says K line becomes the youngest batting champ. I believe he was 20 years old at the time and had a 340 average, um, which is absolutely stunning. Um, but I love this card i love everything about it and even when it's not on screen it's always nearby to me so thank you very much joe i appreciate that and thank you everybody for watching that's the top five of my personal collection i hope you enjoyed it let me know what you think in the comments and throw me a thumbs up if you like what i got good day